for contact point corrosion, if you really want to know the truth, then you lift the pipe, you blast it, clean it off, and then laser scan it. So you can do something like Creoform. Brad from Creoform is going to come down and help me out with that today. And I'm also going to do a little demonstration on PA Cat to show you how that works when you can't lift the pipe. Tell us how it works, Brad. Okay, so basically what we have is we have some positioning targets placed on the pipe. Essentially, these positioning targets are used to position the scanner in 3D space. Once the scanner knows where it is, then the surface is able to be captured by the lasers. As you can see on the computer, we were able to generate that in real time. All right, let's see it in action. All right. Now, the targets get placed anywhere from two to six inches apart, depending on the details and data and resolution you need to capture. Basically, it's point and shoot. So now using the scanner, we're going to point it at the surface, clicking the scan button on. You may or may not be able to see those laser lines, but with VX Elements version 9.0, what we're able to do now is use a smart resolution. So in some of the areas you can see in the top left hand side, that's part of the pipe. Now that is considered a low resolution area, so it keeps it at half a millimeter, meaning that's the point spacing. Now when we start looking at some of the corrosion in the pitting, you can see that the resolution is a lot tighter. So we bump that resolution up by two times to 0.25 millimeter resolution. And by doing that, it helps give us higher resolution, higher detail, and better results in the end. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you how a PA CAT scan would happen on a pipe like this and what the output looks like. <laughs> so obviously we're not gonna do a real scan right now because there's no transducers, but we use a wide range uh, sectorial phased array scan. We fire from one transducer and receive on the other side, scanning around through the bottom. And then the bottom of this pipe, there is corrosion. When you perform a PA CAT scan, you get a stack of back wall signals on your nominal pipe. And then as you move over the corrosion, you'll get a signature, what I like to call a fingerprint of the uh, corroded area. Over here, we have couplet monitor channels. And the end result is something like that. Quantitative data showing the river bottom of the corrosion profile. Thank you, Brad from Creoform for coming out and uh, helping us out. It's a great industry, it's a small industry, and it's nice to have people like you to uh, help us guys out. So appreciate that. And thanks, Nolan. Oh, anytime. <laughs> All right. All right.